Alright, so what's going on guys? My name is Chopper and welcome back to another video. In this one guys, I'm going to show you how to get the fastest way to obtain these level 4 cards or epic star cards, uh, the purple ones, whatever you want to call them. They go by a lot of different names, so getting the highest level card in the game. I'm going to tell you guys the fastest way that I've been able to find to obtain them and put them on a lot of heroes. Now, I actually have quite a bit of these cards stacked up on a lot of my heroes as well. I've got Ray completely level 4, I have Darth Maul completely level 4, my Kylo Ren is pretty stacked as well, as long as some of my troopers. Now you might be asking yourself, how do you obtain all these cards without really spending a lot of money? And obviously, right now with the microtransactions not in the game and you can't really buy these to uh, obtain all these level 4 cards, how do you get so many? Obviously, if you buy the Deluxe Trooper Edition of the game, that's a good way to get it, but uh, you know that, that gives you a little bit of a head start. But I'm going to show you guys a good way to get these highest level cards without having to spend real money, and I guess basically what's going to boil down to is the quickest way to both farm uh, credits and crafting parts because that's essentially what you need to make these that's that is the lifeblood of it so I'm going to break down what you need to get the fastest way possible but as always, guys, before we get started, if this video ends up helping you at all, and if you enjoy this, please make sure you leave a like. It literally takes you two seconds of your time, and it helps me out greatly. I'd appreciate that a lot. We'll go for 250 likes on this video. I think it's a pretty attainable goal, and uh, make sure you are subscribing if you're new to this channel. I'll have plenty more videos just like this coming out on the channel. I live stream every single night, so that's stuff that you don't want to miss, and I'd appreciate that a ton if you could stick around. And uh, other than that, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on how to get these level 4 cards the fastest. Now, as we all know, there are tons and tons of star cards in this game, like almost an infinitely amount, it seems like. I mean, there's cards for heroes, there's cards for troopers, even vehicles as well. You can fully upgrade those. So what you need to do is really prioritize and spend your crafting parts wisely. And we're going to get into how you can do that. But you really need to narrow down what you want to even spend your money on. Because say, like, for example, if you don't play a lot of Starfighter Assault, it's not going to be necessary or even worth it to end up dropping a lot of crafting parts on, say, one of your interceptors or your bombers or something like that it's it's just not going to be what you want to do with that so that is both step one and the easy step to do is just kind of figure out, you know, what you actually want to invest in. For me personally, it ends up being heroes and then, you know, a couple of trooper classes. I really like the assault class as well as the officer class and uh, just a few of my favorite heroes like Rey, Darth Maul, and uh, Han Solo and a bunch of others. So I kind of have it narrowed down as this is what I'm going to spend my crafting parts on. This is who I'm going to invest in. And when I have that going, now then I can start attaining these crafting parts to start building these cards. And this is where a lot of people get confused because the system is a, is, is a little bit hard to understand at first at least I was a little bit confused at the beginning when I started playing this game about how this actually goes down so essentially what you need is you need the fastest way to farm credits and then what you're going to turn your credits into is crafting parts now there's no direct way to turn those into crafting parts but you're going to be buying a certain crate that is going to be the number one cheapest for your money and the highest return on investment for crafting parts as well so let's just say, for instance, that you've got about 10,000 credits laying around. You're going to go buy some crates. Now, obviously, first thing you want to do is open your daily log and crate because you're going to get one of these every single day. And you're not going to get a whole lot, but every little bit does help. You literally get less than 100 credits, with, which I think is whack. But, like, you do get 15 crafting parts on the, on average, which, you know, isn't a whole lot, but every little bit does help. Now, you're going to want to buy one crate in particular, and this is going to be the hero crate because, as I said before, this is what I tend to, you know, invest in. But this is what I would recommend to most of you guys as well. Well, it is literally half the price of a trooper crate, and you're going to get about just the same stuff. Now, if you only play Starfighter, if you're one of those guys, then, you know, probably invest in those crates. It'll be better for you. But if you just want to upgrade your heroes and even troopers, only buy the hero crates. Please don't ever drop a lot more money than you shouldn't have to do on a trooper. It, you're going to get ripped off. And also, in these crates, there's a decent chance you can get, like, some level 3 stuff and a bunch of level 2 to make that leveling up easier so you can actually obtain those fully upgraded or highest level cards. This is going to be, like, a synergistic farming system where if you buy these along with, you know, farming these crafting parts that you're going to get out of every single hero crate, this is going to be the fastest way to obtain this. So that is step 2. Now you know what kind of crate you're buying and which is going to be the most effective and efficient. Now step 3 comes down to what is the fastest ways to obtain said credits and crafting parts. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys do first and foremost is play the campaign now as much as you don't want to or maybe some people have already done it if you play the campaign it's literally only about four to five hours depending on what difficulty you're playing in but when you get it done you're going to be able to claim so many rewards from your career tab and uh, you will have a ton of credits when you're done bunch of crafting parts to spare as well and uh, it's a good way to really start off and have a bunch on hand is literally just finish the campaign doesn't take too long at all and it avoids you a lot of multiplayer grinding where it can be a bit iffy so that's first and foremost guys please 
finish the campaign. The second thing I want you to do once you're done with the campaign is grind a lot of heroes versus villains because I've actually timed this, at least for me personally. On average, I'm able to farm more credits from playing a few matches of HPV than some big Galactic Assault matches because those can drag on for a long time, especially with overtimes and just anything that can happen. It's a little bit more random and things can go down there. So I would say HPV is a little bit more straightforward and the games go faster. And if you, if you perform well and you're not sitting back and just getting no kills, if you perform decent you're gonna get a lot of credits I think it'd probably be safe to say that every three to four games maybe will be enough for a hero crate and that's just depending if you play average you know what I'm saying like if you actually have some standout games it could be too really it really depends and the whole like this entire time you're gonna be ranking up and every time you level up you're gonna get a huge bonus a huge drop of credits from anywhere from like two to three thousand all the way up when you get to level 50s and I'm like I'm approaching that so I think my credit like those big drops are gonna stop here soon which sucks but I'm hoping you know dice is gonna raise the level cap all that stuff with the progression system I'll talk about that in a minute but I, I'm also going to recommend you guys just grinding a lot of HPV now please don't be one of those guys what you know you guys know rubber banders and stuff who just put the thing on their controller please don't be that guy I honestly think that it's a slow way of getting credits and it also just kind of ruins the experience for everybody else I don't condone it at all I would say actually play the game because it's, it's going to be a lot more effective that way so once you've done all that you've played the campaign you've grinded a lot of heroes versus villains if you got the, just like dumb credits on you the last thing you want to do is just complete all the rest of your challenges whether they be trooper challenges starfighter challengers or just whatever there's a ton that you can do in the career tab that have little like bonuses and drops in them whether they're you know 100 crafting parts or maybe 250 credits every little bit helps and a lot of these challenges are relatively easy there's some stuff you can do in arcade there's literally opportunities everywhere and all, like you just want to pick and choose of what most suits your play style and get those challenges done but once you have all of these in action and you're doing these all at the same time you should have some level four heroes fully upgraded in no time I've honestly like I jumped on the train a little bit late in this game just because I was preoccupied with other stuff but I'm now sitting back and I've got like th like three heroes completely fully level four I've got a bunch almost completely upgraded as well like it's crazy how fast you can actually rank up when you're when you're trying but something important you really need to understand is that I think this is the fastest way to level up in Star Wars Battlefront 2 currently. And I'm saying currently in air quotes because, like, I'm making this video in early February, but we're supposed to get a complete overhaul and a change of the leveling up the progression system, the way that loot works, the way that your star cards work. Like, it's going to be completely different come March. From what we understand anyway, there's no details on it yet because they've kept it low-key. We don't really know what's up, and uh, we're just sort of waiting on another word from DICE and EA, that sort of thing. But they they're probably going to change the way we obtain epic star cards and completely level four out our heroes and our, our troopers and whatnot i feel like it's going to be a lot easier and there's going to be a more straightforward path to go for it and you won't have to grind nearly as much as you do right now which will be nice and i'm not sure if you know current players are going to see any compensation for that i don't really know i couldn't tell you to be honest but all, all i'm saying is right now this is probably the fastest way to obtain all of these star cards right now because this will be changed in the future probably within the next month and uh along with the new DLC that's coming out, big changes are coming to this game. I will admit that the grind required to actually, you know, start upgrading these heroes and just have a decent grip on it takes a, an absurd, a ridiculous amount of time. And obviously, like, I bought the Deluxe Trooper Edition. It's only like an extra $20, and that's another way if you guys want to get level 4 cards. It's literally just drop the extra 20 I know not, not everybody's into that, but uh, I figured it was worth it for me anyway, and, and I went for it. But that obvi obviously, that's a good way to go. But if you don't want to spend the money, there are other ways to still, you know, have a good experience on this game and rank up. I'm not saying it's necessary to buy at all. Actually, I I literally just bought it the other day. I upgraded it. I didn't have it at first, but... Uh it is completely 100% possible to rank up quick as long as you're taking these tips in action. You know, you're getting all your challenges done, you play the campaign, you grind some HPV, and only buy hero crates, you should end up with a lot more crafting parts than you previously expected you would for the amount of time played. And this is just what I found works for me personally. If there's anything else that you guys would to, like to let people know in the comment section about ranking up fast, please put any sort of tip you have in the comments because I want this to sort of be like a community group effort where we kind of help each other out of ranking up and uh, to sort of get through this game together so if you have any tips of ranking up fast obtaining credits crafting parts or just any sort of tips that you would give to somebody else please let me know in the comment section down below and uh and you know do everybody else a favor 
But I think we can go ahead and pretty much wrap the video up here. These have been my fastest ways to fully upgrade a trooper, a hero, a, a ship, whatever you want to. Just spend your crafting parts wisely, and you'll be surprised about how fast you can fully upgrade something if you if you learn from these tips. But uh, I, I'm also, guys, one more thing before I let you go. Make sure you follow my Twitter. It will be in the description. I've been a, a lot more active on there and talking to you guys and stuff. So if you got a Twitter account, it's in the description. Go follow me on there and tweet me, just, you know, say what's up or something, and I got you on that. Also, I will be making a Discord server. At the time you're recording this, it is not made yet but i will have it very up very very soon and the link to that will be in the description if you would like to go and join up we have discussions on there i like to, to chat with you guys it's a good time but um so with all that stuff out of the way anyways guys thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you enjoyed it please make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you are brand new and i'll see you all on the next video peace out